Welcome to this, the fifth video on database design. My name's Andy Wicks, and in this video we're going to be looking at the fourth stage, adding the primary keys. But before we get on to that, I'd just like to recap what we've covered so far. In the second video, we found the objects that were required for the second-hand bookshop example. In the third video, we made the links between these objects. And in the fourth video, we made all the links one to many. These cover the logical design. Now we're going to start designing which fields are going to go into the database itself. What about the tables? Well, this stage adds the tables. In the previous video, we ended up with this design. We had these objects, and now we're going to add a table for each of these objects. And that's quite simple. We just put a heading. So for author, there's a heading. For author title, there's a heading. For title, there's a heading. For title category, there's a heading. Category has its own heading. Book has a heading. And purchase has a heading. That's quite easy. Now we're going to add the primary keys. All primary keys should be an auto number integer. A primary key is a field that is used by the database to look up a particular record. It can be several fields, but in a well-designed relational database it would be an auto number field because that is going to be unique every time. What you don't have to worry about is that these numbers are immediately consecutive. So deleting a record, for example, doesn't actually matter. Because these ID fields are never going to get shown to the user. So let's start. Let's add the primary key for the author table. Well, that's quite easy. We add an author ID field. Notice that the ID field has taken the name of the table. So since the table is called author, the primary key is author ID. I bet you can't guess what the next primary key is. The primary key for author title is author title ID. And then for title, it's title ID. Title category, title category ID. For the category table, it's category ID. The book table gets a book ID, and the purchase table, obviously, a purchase ID. This has to be the easiest stage of all the six stages. You just add a heading for each table, and then add an ID field that has the same name as the table. 